We're going back to Commando. We had a better chance with him. Man, that's upset. We were so close to unlocking a new character. Spawned underneath the bridge. Well, at least they're being generous this time, giving us a drone right out the gate. A little bit of an apology. Damn. That run was going so well, too. Had we managed to find it in time, I feel like we could have beaten that. Almost have enough to buy the drone. There we go. Oh, now, now I no longer have that massive dash. So I can't traverse the map nearly as quickly. And now I'll take it for my long range attacks. Worth the sacrifice. Yeah, I think that was a strategy I used in Dark in Genesis as well. Just use strife, stay far away, and just hit them from range. I don't remember what other abilities I had equipped, but I think I had something that was like healing me constantly as well. You don't do crit damage for hitting someone in the head, do you? Next time that golem appears, I gotta test that out. Cause I'm curious if I might do more damage to him. Oh, you can actually air dodge. Neat. Don't know how practical that's gonna be, but it's nice to have. But now we know, based on that last run, now we know that it's very possible for exits to spawn underneath bridges and other obscure things. Oh, another drone, yes. Oh, wait, no, turret, never mind. Don't need to be wasting my money on turrets. Now, one thing I'm now curious about, now that I know you can dodge roll in air, is that going to save us from fall damage? Like, if we get knocked up in the air, like, by that stone titan, like previously, can we dodge and save ourselves? Because that was a big thing with the amount of damage I was taking from him. He knocked us in the air, we fell down, took like 100 damage from that. If I dodge roll, can I circumvent that damage? I already. I mean, it's good money, good experience, but still. Die. Hey, double jump. Well, I mean, now I don't necessarily need to find out. I've got the double jump. I'll still experiment just in case, just to find out, but... Good to have the double jump just in case. Now, where's the exit? Still don't have too many in terms of items. I'm not comfortable leaving this zone yet. But it is important to locate the exit ASAP. As we learned in that last run. Okay, there it is. 
But yeah, like, half of these little spikes were blocked by the bridge. I feel like if the graphic of the thing is blockaded or, like, obstructed by something else, it shouldn't be allowed to spawn there. The entire thing should be visible. Again, just my two cents on that. I could get rid of a teddy bear and get a teddy bear back. I could potentially get rid of my double jump and get a teddy bear back. And teddy bears reduce flat damage, I think? No, that's turtle. Teddy bear was a, a defense-based thing, though. I just can't recall which one. Okay, six minutes. I mean, I mentioned this at the very top of the stream. This is all about greed versus speed. How long do you want to continue to loot and look around for items and kill enemies? And how quickly... Oh, there we go. Good item. How quickly do you want to leave? Leave too early, you're going to be underpowered. Leave too late, and the enemies are going to be overpowered. I'm sure people have played this game enough to know the exact butter zone. Like how long you should stay in an area before you leave. In fact, mine might be too early. Some people may play up until medium and past. Some people may play up until hard and then they leave. I don't know. I'm sure there absolutely is a meta. There is a balance that some people have figured out. I have no idea. Hi, Vash. Yeah. Alright, I think it's safe to leave. Again, we don't have too much in terms of DPS, but it'll have to do. Where's- oh no, not this guy again. So I need to learn how to avoid those massive orbs. Especially that big one. I think that one does like 200 damage. Stay far away enough. No, no, no. Okay. Okay, he's doing splat- he's doing something. I don't know what he's doing, but he's doing something. The entire area just a load. Okay, I mean, we survived it, but... Yeah. Some sort of electricity attack. Chance to fire missile, nice. Oh god, if we can actually live and see it. Okay, it's this little dick right here who keeps shooting me. Just standing behind, shooting me from behind. Backstabbing me with his gun. Okay, there. Good. Made it to area two. Before medium, no less. So this might be the last run. I mean, we have been going for three hours. And I'm gonna try and see if I can't stick to this more often. Because I've been going for four or five hours for the past few months now. I can't keep doing that. We need to stick to what I originally set out, and that's three hour streams. Although that does remind me, I wanted to mention this. 
This is going to be the last roguelike I do on stream for a while. Starting next week, I'll be switching over to doing more... ...stuff like 3D platformers and other genres. Starting next week with... Skylar and Plux, which is an indie 3D platformer that's in the style of Jack and Daxter and Ratchet and Clank. Bit of a shorter game. I think they clocked it in in about four hours, maybe? So we might be able to beat it next week? We'll see. But yeah, I'm gonna try and do farm our different kinds of genres starting next week. More than just roguelikes. Because apparently not a lot of people on my channel like them. I've kind of... I mean, it makes sense. I kind of built my channel around 3D platformers, so... Yeah, it makes sense there's not that much interest in them. And I've got... It's not like I'm hurting myself by doing this. I've got a lot of games in my backlog. It's more than just roguelikes. So it'll be interesting to do various different games. Starting to switch it up. And again, I mentioned this before, now that I have a capture card for the PS4, I can do other games as well, like Knack. One game I've been looking forward to doing for a while. May not necessarily become a Let's Play, but I can easily do it on a live stream. You have plenty of choices. There's still going to be the classical Let's Plays that I do. Enemies with four or more debuffs are marked for death, taking bonus damage. Oh, now if I only I could get some debuffs. I don't think this build has any right now. I mean, yeah, there's still going to be the classic Let's Plays that I do, like Long Haul. They're going to be like fully edited and everything else, but it'll be nice to do the occasional live stream 3D platformer. Sometimes it'll be a one-shot where I only do one stream, sometimes I'll do the entire game, we'll see. One thing I was considering doing... Originally I was going to do Psychonauts as a full Let's Play. Fully edited, everything like that. But I'm thinking maybe I'll switch that over to a live stream thing, interact with the community while I'm playing that one. If I can get that done before Psychonauts 2 comes out, that'd be even better. But we'll see, again, it's all about scheduling. That backlog is filled with plenty of fun games to play. I think more than anything else, I'm probably going to focus on indies for the live streams. So you won't be seeing a Ratchet and Clank live stream or a infamous last. No, infamous Second Son live stream. Those are going to be relegated to Let's Plays. Yeah, get into people's minds while dumbing into people's minds. It's all about the Psychonauts. And I've, I've only actually played a little bit of Psychonauts. Like, back in the day, I rented it for the PS2. And I played uh, the first character, the first guy, the, the... What was his name? The camp... I don't remember. The camp counselor, like the... The gym teacher, I, I guess? I did his level, and that was about it. And for whatever reason, I have no idea why I never continued the game. I mean, it was a rental, so I only had it for so long, but I would have thought I would have played it for more. But for whatever reason, never played it past that point. And then years, many years later, I ended up watching a, uh, a stream of someone else play the game. Like, bits and pieces. But never the entirety of it. Yes, two healing orbs. More health! More health! All of the survivability. I want to live. We got a healing drone. We got two orbs on every kill. We should hopefully be able to make it past Area 3 with this. We still need DPS. But it's a good start. One trophy is for buying something on Christmas Day. So kind of like an Arkham Asylum, Arkham City type thing. Calendar Man. 
Although I'll be playing Psychonauts on uh, PC, not PS4. I mean, I could always pick it up on PS4, but my current copy is on. One That actually does remind me. One thing that's interesting about Psychonauts is despite the fact that it is a cult classic and a lot of people love the game, it has never been remastered. You would think that a game like Psychonauts would have been remastered into HD. Never done. At least not that I... It might have. Was it? No. I don't think it ever was. Because I checked this out a while back when I was looking for, like, higher resolution versions of the game for PC. And there are mods. There are mods on the, on the Nexus Mods website where you can upgrade or mod uh, modify the game to look a little bit better, but it, officially, it's never been remastered. Yeah, only ported. Alright, we need to find the exit now. Chance to stun! Great for a fast-firing weapon like this. Uh, more items! Come on, give me something good. I need weapons. I need damage. Uh, block damage. It's not necessarily what I was asking for. Oh, please don't end up like an instance like last time where I can't find the exit. Unlike last time, we don't have a dash, so I can't really explore the map as quickly, either. Money. Money's always good. Though I've got plenty of it right now, I can buy just about anything. What I need is the exit. Wait, is that it right there? No, that's just a tree. I thought that was a glowing symbol. Well, crap. Come on, don't screw me again, game. You can't do this to me. Don't you know I'm streaming? I'm a Let's Player. You're cursing me now. Drop a treasure, so even more money. Oh, that stun is so good. Now, I'm curious if that counts as one of the three debuffs needed to instant kill an enemy. Alright, stop killing enemies and find the exit. We've gone full circle now. So it has to be in the inner area. It's gotta be. We've encircled the entire trench. Nothing. Nothing. Wouldn't be down there, would it? No. That's just a watery grave. I mean, we've now entered hard. Okay, so there's that. So we could technically have a little bit of speed. Here's an area I haven't been. Please be up here. Come on, game. Do this to me! Why on my good runs? Okay, there it is, thank god. Oh, wow. And a bunch of things to buy. Move fast out of combat. Well, that's not really gonna be helpful now, is it?
Just kite them around. Kite them around. They're going to drop health orbs. Just kill them. The adds are actually helpful in this instance. Killing them just heals me. We got piercing, so we can actually kill multiple at once. No, no, no. Don't you dare. Don't you dare, game. We've got so much survivability. How can we die? We've got healing orbs, and we've got drones. We've got so much we should live. For all intents and purposes. That should have let us live. Ugh. One more. We can do one more run. I'm not gonna let it end like that. We got one more run in us. Damn. So much healing too. The problem was we didn't have the DPS to kill the, the adds quick enough to get their health orbs. That's what we were missing. A little bit more damage, we could have killed him quickly, we could have healed up a little bit better. Damn. This has to be the last run though. Interesting narrow path. Now this is one thing I did mention, that I was curious how the level design was gonna be considering they're now doing procedural level generation in a 3D space. With 2D, it's a little bit easier, because you can set up certain, like, rules to spawn the level in certain chunks, like Spelunky does. There's various chunks that it's always going to spawn. And based on what's surrounding it, it'll spawn different segments. For a 3D platformer, however, it's a lot more difficult, I would imagine... Enter a frenzy. Again, I still don't know what that does. I don't even think I've used it. Just one one more blast shard. Just one more. Just one more run. Just one more. Oh, there's a drone. Actually, mark you so I can remember that. It's always just one more with me. Just just one more pull of the slot machine. Just one more. That's why I can't go to Vegas. Oh, wow. Really, the exit's right there. Could argue I got lucky on this one. They know. Hapu is watching. They've spawned the exit right here. They're giving me a good run. All right, now we can get the minion. Gimme. Pick him up. Healing drone, good. I mean, gunner gu gunner drones are nice, but as we saw last time, we kind of need that healing. Okay, what is the watch thing again? What does this do? Oh, stun grenade. Chance to stun on hit. Also very good. Alright, what does Frenzy do? Let me see. Oh, faster fire rate. Oh, that stacks very nicely with the stun chance. Alright, so I kind of like the Frenzy. I was thinking just like minor increase to damage, but for this character and that stun, that combos weather well, rather well. Do I sacrifice the, the blood shrine? I feel like that's a mistake, but we haven't done it yet. You know what? Just for experimentation. Wasn't worth it. 
We didn't get a single item out of that. So it's not a guarantee. The Shrine of Chance... So, kind of, they're all Shrines of Chance. Either you're offering blood and you may get an item back. You're offering money and you may get an item back. I was thinking the Shrine of Chance was the only one that was a gamble. But no, they all are. Interesting. And that's gonna go up in price, too. So, 75% health? No thanks. I don't have nearly enough healing to compensate for that. Again, I'm very curious about these giant doors. I feel like there might be a trigger that opens them. Time-based, enemy kill-based, something. There's got to be more to it. But even then, there's not a guarantee that there's going to be anything in there. What's Ocul okay, so crit chance for 8 seconds and now. Although... No. I'm trying to think, with this fast fire rate... Is he better to have Frenzy, so faster attack, or that 8 second crit chance? Or 8 second guaranteed crits? I mean, that's doing 19 damage. If we were to take this... Quick, quick experimentation. And we activate it. That's... Okay, so it is double. So, 35. Do we deal more damage with guaranteed crits or faster attack rate? I mean, again, it's only for 8 seconds, so unless we get really close to a boss, I don't know if we'd be taking advantage of it. And with stun chance, maybe it is better to have frenzy. Yeah, we're keeping frenzy. Just because I like the stun. Alright, six minutes, but we've only gotten one item, really? Oh no, that's bad. We need more items before we leave. There's, all, there's nothing around here, that's the thing. I'd have to go all the way back up there to get an item. This is going to kill a lot of time. Wait, hold on. Oh, phew. Good. Couple of items. Damage reduction. Oh, and that's going to stun his attack as well. So yeah, I think I'm better off with the Faster fire rate. Recharging shield. Eh. Oh, hi, Vash. I see you. Yeah. Have I been streaming for three hours? He's my alarm clock. He's saying he wants... He wants attention. He's a very jealous cat. He sees his sister get attention, he has to come over, he has to demand attention himself. He sees me streaming on YouTube and Twitch, talking into a microphone, he wants that attention. Has to be about- he has to be the center of attention. Very selfish cat. He won't even let Trinket play with toys. Like, she'll get a toy, he'll come over, and he'll take it from her. And she just lets him do it. It's very rare that she finds a toy that he'll let her play with. And he's not- the thing is, he's not aggressive with- don't get me wrong, he's not aggressive when he takes her toys. He just comes over, grabs it, and walks away. And she lets him. Same thing when it comes to attention. She comes over, I pet her, he hears me giving her attention, and he comes over, and he headbutts her out of the way. Very selfish cat. There's that fast fire rate. 
keep them stun locked. Yes. Okay, I like it. Definitely the better of the two. Definitely the better choice. Now he's just laying down on my foot. If he can't get me to pet him, he'll just lay down on my foot. It's good enough for him. Any kind of body warmth. Get him! Get the Queen Ant! Okay, one down. Get whatever item she gave me. Leeching seed. Oh my god. Get out of there. Go, go, go. Like I said, we don't have the DPS on this. Dealing damage heals you. Yes, good, awesome. That's what we needed. Any kind of survivability. Rapid fire. Heal us back to max. Come on. Get him! Yeah, pretty much. This is mine now. This foot, it belongs to me. Oh, crap. We've entered medium now. I was kind of hoping to do this before then. Well, level two. Can we make it to stage three? Can we at least match our best? Okay, there's money. Right, we don't have the double jump. That was the last run. It's fine. We don't necessarily need double jump. There's nothing out of reach yet. Okay, find the exit. Priority number one. Oh, new enemies, too. I've not seen these guys before. New flyers. Oh, this looks like a much bigger level, too. Please don't spawn the exit in a terrible to find space. What the hell are you? You look like something out of Dark Souls. What? Freaking church bell attacking me. What the hell was that? That was literally a church bell. I'm gonna take fall damage if I go down there. Well, in that case, let's try and reduce it as much as possible. Okay, so you can dodge roll to kind of reduce the amount of fall damage you take. Good to know. That's what I was kind of hoping. Okay, there's that church bell again, but we need to find that exit. So many wisps. And he's actually planting mines too, so it's gonna prevent where I can move to. Screw it, rapid fire. Yeah, an ability like this, I'm definitely going to be using quite a bit. Anything to increase my fire rate. And in turn, healing rate. And in turn, stun rate. 
just an all-around good super. Or equipment, whatever it's called. Alright, we've got the money. We just need the exit now. Sure, gamble. Yes, chance on hit to attach bombs. And chance on hit to bleed. Dude, this is a great build. Do not ruin it. So many things are going to proc, like, chance on hit. Bleed, stun, heal. Bombs. With a faster fire rate. Oh, we're, we're kind of back up here again. Did not mean to do that. We're getting away from where the exit's probably at. Sure, this has actually been a rather fun game. I'm surprised at how well it translates from 2D to 3D. Legit surprised and impressed. Recharging shield, and eh, not so much. Oh god. Oh god. Homing jellyfish. I can definitely see myself playing more of this off stream. Like the past few weeks I've been all about Hades and Spelunky, but I can see putting this into my cycle as well. At the very least, to unlock more characters. Because I want to see what the robot is like in this. Because like I said before, I, the robot was my... I want to say my main in Risk of Rain 1. I don't remember why. Talking about six or seven years ago, but there was something about him... That I remember appealing to me. Come on, where are my bombs? Attach them bombs. There's something to buy in the water. Repair drone. Yes. Double the drone. Double up. Extra damage to bosses. Good. Oh, we're getting a lot of items now. Increased attack speed. Yes. Oh, if we die now, it's gonna suck, because this is such a good build. I mean, it's gonna happen. We know it's going to happen. But it's gonna suck when it does. So many things are synergizing well on this build. Where's the exit? We gotta find it. We gotta find it. I mean, we're already into hard. That's fine. Dude, three drones? Healing drone and two gunner drones. Now, here's another question I'm curious about. Do the drones count towards the on-hit chance? Like, every time you hit, you have a chance to stun. Does that include what my drones do, or is it only my character? That's something I need to experiment with and find out. Exit over here. And there's stuff over this way. I mean, that looks like a fallen spaceship, so maybe this is that lone survivor thing again? So maybe part one of accessing the character unlock? I mean, it looks like a fallen, a fallen spaceship. Or a satellite. No. And nothing propped. So we got the survivor built, survivability, we got the damage. We just need to actually get to the exit. Okay, I stopped looking at the screen for a second. Let's see. 
could have been bad. Yeah, there's definitely a reason that the Commando is the default character. He's so much better than the Huntress. I'm sure if you get used to the Huntress, she's a fine character. Oh, really? Three. Count them. Three Gunner Drones. This is what I'm remembering from the first Risk of Rain. Having a boatload of drones following you around dealing massive damage. I'm not sacrificing my life. No. This is too good of a run to do that. I'm not throwing it away. Frenzy, so good! On, where is it? We gotta find the exit! Where have we not gone? There it is. Got it. I mean, we ha technically we haven't recharged our fury or our special yet, so it's probably not a good idea to have done that. Not just one, but two beetles. Oh my god. Why? Why game? Oh no, there's the beetle. It was just a different beetle that spawned. I'm actually seeing a little bit of slowdown now. That's how many things are coming at me at once. I'm actually getting slowed down. What are we at? We're at 58%. Come on. Recharge. I mean, we haven't even been doing much damage to the Beetle Queen. I mean, she's stuck over there. There, go. Rage! Deal that rage damage. Stun lock. Explosives. Everything. Okay, we're at 100%. We've made it. The teleporter has unlocked, we now just need to beat him. Actually, where is the queen? She disappeared. Hello, there she is. Got her. It's still ticking though. Just because we beat her does not mean everything else is dead. Unlike some games where once you kill the boss, everything else despawns, these guys are still in it, and these guys will still try and kill me. And they have a decent chance at it. I don't care if I'm at full health. Do not take them lightly. If, especially these friggin' church bells, really? Retaliate and a burst of razors on taking damage. Nice. Always good to have revenge damage. I mean, I mentioned this before, but I was kind of like doing a couple of builds on Hades based on revenge builds. Is that... Ev Did we pick everything up? Did we pick up the Queen's item? I hope so. Because if not, we're going to the next area without it. Before very hard. Alright. Zone 3 again. We've been here twice before. Can we make it past? If we can, we unlock a new character. And if we can, then I'll at least, at the very least, look at what that character looks like and plays like. Doesn't mean I'm going to do a full run, but I'll... Start a run with them. Just to see what their skills are. It's 
like I said, this is the last run. Ow. How much was this? 318. Yeah, prices also increase with increased difficulty, so... Another reason you might want to hurry up and finish levels early. You're just standing behind that pillar. That's my tactic. They're doing it better than I do. How can they hide behind cover better than me? Alright, now we can afford it. Buy it. What you got? Chance on kill to drop treasure. Well... I mean, we weren't very short on money last area, so... Not the greatest investment. Oh my god, their meat, they're so tanky. They take so many hits. Bullet sponges. We don't nearly have enough damage output. Okay. Priority number one, find the exit. Priority number one, get this health thing. Release a healing nova during the teleporter stage. Might be helpful. There it is, there's the exit. Awesome, we found it almost instantly. Good. Things are coming up Millhouse. Which one are you? You are the Shrine of Combat. That is such a gamble to do that right now. No, attack speed. The syringe is attack speed. Yes! Max out my attack speed as much as possible. Just keep increasing it. It's still set up. I don't know what happened previously, but the the ping for the exit like disappeared on a previous run after something happened. Might have been that I got too far away. I don't know. My God, those swipes! Apparently, I'm not the only one f with fury. Again, going back to the soundtrack for this game. Simply amazing. Like, this does sound like a remix of Coalescence. I need to look it up after the stream. Do we do it? Do we do a combat shrine? You know what? Why the hell not? Let's test it out. If we're gonna die, we're gonna die here. We might get an item out of it. Oh, so bullet spongy. So much health. Ah! Well, we didn't get an item out of that, and yet a lot of enemies spawned. And we're now in Insane. Oh, we need more items though, that's the thing. I mean, this is not a terrible build to have, but I feel like we need more. Before we continue on, we need more. It's that greed versus speed. Do we leave now with what we have? Or do we keep looking for more? I mean, we have a few minutes. It's at the very beginning of Insane. So it's not like it's going to get more difficult for a while. We've got time. Go Rags Opus? You and your friends enter a frenzy. Oh, that's the exact same thing as I just had.
So it's a frenzy either way. Ow. Funded! Collect some amount of money. Alright. I think I saw something over here I might be able to buy. Okay, yeah, you got a lot of Fury Strikes coming at me. No, those are explosives. Never mind. I thought I saw something that was maybe purchasable. So do we just go to the next area now? I feel like maybe we do. Yeah. No. Yes. No. Again, I just want more. I feel like this isn't enough to beat the boss of this area. Oh, thank goodness. Here's something. Get it. Off on the horizon. One item. Yes, more attack speed. Perfect. So glad I came over here. Okay, now we can go. Now I feel a little bit better. I just wanted one more item. That was it. Just, just one more. One more to round out this build. Alright, here we go. This is the furthest we've gotten before. Can we surpass it? The Imp Overlord. Where did you go? You just tell you okay, so you can teleport apparently. And I don't know what he's throwing down, but he's creating hazards. No, no, no. What? I just lost like 500 health in about 3 seconds. What the hell happened? What was that? Damn! Completely wrecked. I don't know what hit me, but I lost all of my health. I was at, like, full. Damn. Well, I guess so much for unlocking another character tonight. As much as I would have liked to unlock this person. Requires warrior. Reach and complete the third teleporter event without dying. So close. So close. But that will have to do it for me tonight. Fun game, amazing game. Like I said before, it is available on all platforms. That's PC, PS4, Xbox, and Switch. Just dropped a, an, an anniversary update yesterday, so they added a whole bunch of new content, including a new character and a new boss. It definitely gets my recommendation. If you haven't played Risk of Rain 1, maybe check that one out as well. It translates very well from 1 to 2. It's got a lot of the same items, although I can't remember most of what they are. But the gameplay itself is very similar. You start off in a big map, you have to find the exit, you have to exit it, you have to get out of there. And the longer you take, the harder enemies become. It's all about that balance of how long you want to stay in the game and loot and be greedy versus how quickly you want to get out of there and go to the next zone. But thanks for watching everyone, and until the next one, adios.